Hello again, Bernie D. Coven, reading from his favorite book, A Playful Path. Today's reading, A Squirrel Explains a Playful Path. A Squirrel. The other day when I was thinking about a playful path, which I try to do as often as possible, about, you know, what it feels like when I'm on and off it, what you might call its spiritual topography. Spiritual. I met a squirrel who, for the duration of the meeting, okay, not so much a meeting, but an encounter, you know, each of us stilled in our awareness of the other. And it seemed naturally to be there to answer my question, which I wasn't quite asking. So alive, so filled with life this squirrel seemed to me to be, as all living squirrels seem to be, you know, a lot of scampering, a lot of sudden sitting up, taking notice, talking to me, standing there for something. I've always admired squirrels for that, not just for their gloriously bounding grace, for their seeming celebration of anything, but especially for their, you know, playfulness, like when they chase each other round and round a tree, double helixing their way up and down and up. Such athletes, so committed, so completely engaged. Anyhow, the squirrel, patiently illustrating what a playful path was really like. Not so much what you'd call a path or a road, or even a winding trail, the squirrel explained, but something three-dimensional, with branches everywhere, more like, wouldn't you know it, a tree, whose bifurcating ways, even though they seem to be growing in every possible direction, each lead to the light. A playful path, which you could be on right now. You probably are, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this. Anyhow, you can download it for free at aplayfulpath.com.